Kiara Koto and welcome to Great Western Trail in about three minutes. Review copy used. It has a solo mode, it's a game for one to four players, playing time is long, and it's a pretty complex game. You are a business person looking for opportunities in an oddly empty section of the American West. Can you muster cows, build infrastructure, and make the best deliveries in order to become cow baron of the old west? The game ends once the recruitment board fills up. Every other player has one more turn. The winner is the player with the most points, and you get these from many sources. Just look for the yellow shield symbol. Deck building. You start the game with a basic deck of cows and can add better ones. Set collection. You want sets of different cows and the same workers. Player turn. Each player has a board. When you gain new workers, they go here. When you make a delivery, remove one of your discs showing a new ability. Blackboarded discs can only be removed from special delivery spots. Each player has 12 buildings. Randomly determine each building side and then all players play with the same mix. At game start, there will be seven neutral buildings randomly placed in set spots. Your first turn is placing on one and taking its action. Let's look at some of these core buildings. Here you can discard a white cow for two coins and then recruit. Pay the cost on the right for one worker and cost plus two if you want a second worker. Place them on your board, gaining any bonuses you cover. Here you discard a black cow for two coins and buy from the cow market. The more cowboy workers you have, the cheaper cows are. For example, here we have three cowboys so can buy two level three cows for five coins, placing them in our discard pile. Here this player cannot discard a green cow as they don't have one but can still do the right action to place a building. You need a number of workers shown in the top left and pay two coins per worker used. Place the building in any free spot. If you had six workers, you could pay 12 to place this building, and later you can upgrade a building, paying the difference in workers and cost. At game start, the board is sparse, so full movement can get you most of the way across the board. Let's add some more buildings. Green and black hand symbols are tolls. Here they are one and two costs respectively. Yellow moves four going this way, paying three coins to the bank. Or they could go this way, paying two coins to the red player. Red does not have to pay tolls on their own buildings. They land here and use the two abilities on the building, the second of which moves them ahead three and they can use the second building too. Routes can get quite expensive, but these actions can remove bandits and hazards from the board. The action on the right here lets you do one of these actions on your board, here gaining two coins. If you land on someone else's building, you can do one of these actions. The action on the left moves the train. Here white has one conductor and moves one. Red also has one but leapfrogs white. And yellow has three, so can move here, spending money to place a delivery marker and removing a worker to claim the bonus tile. When you arrive in Kansas City, pick one of each column of tile to place. Then show your hand of cows. You want high values and different cows. Here we have 13 plus two from our bonus tile. We could deliver up to 14 but choose the 12 spot. Gaining 15 money but losing one for each red marker between our train and this spot. As this is a black delivery spot, we can uncover one of our special spots for more move or more hand size. Next turn, you'll move from the start of the trail. Why would you like this game? The American West is one of my least favorite themes for a game, but Great Western Trail overcomes that by offering up an exceptional mix of mechanics and great decision points. Where you place buildings to take advantage of them is super important, as is managing the many tolls and fees you have to pay. You simply don't have the actions or money to do everything, so the game is loaded with hard choices. And it's all interconnected. Not enough buildings and you'll have less options. No cows and your deliveries will suck. And if you don't move the train, you'll miss out on a lot of money and points. All up, a game for experienced fans of Euro games who want to solve an evolving puzzle and like screwing with each other. The best thing about this game is how the board evolves through play. The players really shape the experience. However, this is a score sheet and points come from all these sources, which is a lot to keep track of for new players. And there really aren't any catch up mechanics. A slow start will likely mean a low place finish. Prefer bear to cows? Try Brass Birmingham. And if you like moving about and taking actions, try Viscounts of the West Kingdom. Great Western Trail, gold medal game. And if you enjoyed this video, please support us on Patreon. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel.